Hey there, it's Mark. Today I'm going to take a look at plastic protectors for your packages. Of course, most people collect Hot Wheels, but this size package is pretty standard. It's been used by lots of brands for a long time. Uh, that's going to be the focus of this video. Now, I have talked about other protectors, like these loose containers right here. I actually did a video showing all of my plastic storage containers. You can check it out. Now those right there for the loose cars, they're the number one containers for loose car collectors. You can find the link in the description and in a pinned comment as far as these protectors right here. They are in my car storage and display section. As you can see, I have other categories as well. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Now let's go ahead and take a look at those two. As you can see, there's two different stacks. You have one stack for this brand and then it looks like two stacks for that brand. But actually, that's the flap that closes. It's a clamshell, so this one closes. It's all one piece, whereas this kind, to be honest, I kind of like this. Because look how much less space it uses for the protectors. That's 25 of each, and this is the front, and then the back is a separate piece to close it in. Let me go ahead and grab one right here. And uh, this is pretty cool. Look what they do. They I don't know if they always do this, but, uh, well, I actually took one off the top. If you check, they have a plastic, uh, a little piece of film in here to keep the, the face of your plister safe. Uh, I found these in here. If, I'm sure they didn't do it just for me. Look, you can see right through them. So we have this type right here, and let's go ahead and get the bottom. Now, the, these right here, Again, are in the link. These are called car case, and they're by Protec. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. You can see you just close them right up. It's kind of hard to see. I mean, for to be on camera, it's translucent, so you can see right through it. But let's go ahead and get one of the, uh, let's get a car here. I got this because it's a big blister, right? This is a, and if it fits this, then it's gonna fit your regular stuff. Put it right in. Slide the back on. There you go. Now for the other one, the other one's called Sterling. It's two parts, one part, I'm sorry. And it has, uh, it's all together. So you have the back and the front. Now, let me talk about something real quick before I close that one up. Now, Protect, they've been making protectors for a long time. This one's an older version of theirs. And I have this car in it for a long time. Now, back then, you know, they've improved it. This one was not very good. I left this car in here because it was already in there. But to be honest, I've thrown away all the other ones of this generation, right? This is a new generation. This one's an old one. Because the old generation, it was kind of tight on the corners. So it, sometimes it would crunch your corners. It's so close. And if you mess it up or, you know, if you drop it or sometimes there could be some uh, damage to the corners of your collectibles. I'll still leave this one in here for now. Let's take a look at the new one. I just put this one in. It's nice and clean. Uh, let's take a look at the corners. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up. And the reason it's pretty good because uh, they did a better job with allowing room in the corner. You can see the package is kind of moving around a bit. So they gave it a little more wiggle room. And if a little hint would be when you put this in your package, push this up so that it's at the top. And then you can, you can squish it with it uh, up at the top. This way the, the corners are, have been sliding away from the corners on the inside. And then you have a bit of room. Uh, I'm very satisfied with this package right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And let's slide it in. This one, they gave a lot more room in the corners. Look how much wiggle room there is. There's a lot of wiggle room. I would still slide it to the top, close it. You know, to each, oh, look. I almost, I almost pinched it because I think it slid out. Let's make sure it's, let's make sure it's down in there. There we go. And let's see, this one, this one stands up, so that's kind of nice. And here is the other version, other company. You know what, look, they both stand exactly the same. Look, the angle 
forward is just, it's just about the same. You know, I'm not going to get a micrometer and figure out which one, which one's leaning better, but they look like they both have about the same amount of slight lean towards the front. There you go. If you want to put it on a display shelf, there you go. Nice to display in the package. Of course, you know, I'm a loose car guy. If, if I'm going to have stuff, a lot of cards that I want to keep uh, nice, I use plastic containers, but sometimes you want to put stuff on display and let's say you don't want it to fall off the shelf. You put it, you put it in a protector. Now, since both of them are the fine, this one seemed to have a little bit more room. By the way, both of them have uh, spots for you can punch this out and you can hang it on a, a peg hook if you want, if you have a collection with peg hooks. Let's see this one. Yep. Now I'm going to use this one for demonstration real quick because uh, the other one is the same size. So you use uh, this regular packages. Here you have the car culture when it was the trucks line and it fits these as well. Of course Mattel went to uh, these larger car culture packages. They charge double the price. You get a larger card. Oh yeah, you do get extra tempo there and extra tempo in the foot. Jeez. Not worth double the price in my book, but they do have protectors for this size. It's in the description. Let's go ahead and get uh, that protector. Now, uh, I just have this one. Put it in there. Uh, I just bought one from uh, Sterling. I didn't buy one from the other company because I don't really need a lot of these. So I bought enough for me. And, and if you can see, look, uh, see that space right there? So you definitely have room around the package for your pop culture, for your car culture. Uh, this was car culture, right? Japan Historics. This will fit in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, something I did want to check. Let's get this. Now, you're not going to put this. You're not going to put this in the protector. But look, a lot of companies have been using the same dimensions. So this fits. Speed Wheels. That, this was Maestro. And Speed Wheels is another... Maestro sub brand, but it's this this version is wider. Let me check that real quick. See, yeah, that will fit. Let's see what else do we have. Mm, here we have this one right here, a uh, vintage hot ones. I'm gonna put that on display. Yep, that'll fit in both of them. Maybe you have some uh, vintage Kenner fast ones. Yep, this one's an oldie. Let's see, will that fit in there? Yeah, look, look, that fits in there as well. So this this package dimension has been used by car companies for quite some time. Let's look at a couple more larger packs. Uh, let's talk about pop culture. Here's a Scooby Doo pop culture. Fits in there nice. Look, it's got wiggle room. Let's see what else well, is a larger package. Disney Pixar cars. These are a larger package. But they're uh, too large, too wide. Look, I hold it here. Look, it's too wide. It's not going to fit. Now, if you're only going to buy a few, they're going to cost you about two bucks each. But that's why you only use them for your special cars. When you do that, if you buy quantities, right, if you're going to be in the hobby for a while, buy a bundle, and then you can get your cost closer to a dollar each. The link is in a pinned comment. I think it was Amazon.com slash shop slash race grooves. And uh, again, as an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Yeah, there's both of them in that, in that link. If you missed that video where I talk about how I bulk store my carded packages, there's a link for that. If you're looking for fun, don't forget about my other channels. They're for you or recommend them for kids or people that you know who would like them. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.